Okay guys, I'm here today with Marcelo Garcia, a huge honor for me, and Marcelo's school in New York City, with my favorite place in the world, with my favorite mats, the place that I live in from 2013 to 2017, and I got the best results of my career. And guys, uh, Marcelo today is going to talk to us about guard passing for no gi. So I think like if you, if you watch Marcelo's career, he's the one who has the most submissions in the ABCC history, and uh, for you was Never a problem, right? I'm saying if you pull guard, you knew what to do. If they pull guard, you knew what to do. If it was standing, you also had to take it also. And guard pass was a huge part of her game, too. Yeah, we have the best time with you in New York, too. But so when, we, when we talk about, like, uh, doesn't have a problem, doesn't, have, doesn't mean like uh, I'm confident in every position, but I must have options in every position. And imagine, like, uh, I started just a long time ago, and I came from judo. I did one year and a half of judo. So I was I was bad on top because I came straight from judo to lunge jiu-jitsu. So I was bad on top. But then when I pulled guard, I realized like my guard was just terrible. I have no guard. So I stopped playing a lot of guard. And I stopped putting a lot of time in guard. And then there was like a blue purple belt. People start to feel like, uh, oh, he has a very good guard. Let me pull guard on him. And then I start to feel like, no, I'm comfortable on top. And that's when I realized, like, uh, I want to I wanna be able to really be comfortable on top and I want to come from the bottom. So I used to be comfortable on top when I began Jiu-Jitsu, and then I do a lot of guard. And then people start pull guard me, and I was like, no, I, I'm still comfortable on top. So today I feel very comfortable, like, uh, to pull guard. I feel comfortable to pass on guard. But not necessarily, like, uh, uh, I'm gonna be, it's going to be easy to me pull guard on you or pass guard on you. But if it's not easy to me to be on the bottom, I need to find a way to be on top because I'm, I'm comfortable on both. But I want to be able to make you play the game that you the worst. So the way to me do this, I need to be able to be on comforting. I need to be able to be comforting all the positions. So if you're bad on top, I'm going to find a way to be on top of you. But I cannot do that if I'm not good on top, if I'm just good on the bottom. So that's how I feel like I, I got better to pass someone's guard. That's how I feel like uh, I got no to have a good guard. So I feel like we must have an option to, to be on top on the board. But just not to keep repeating that, let's just think about like, uh, I don't mind Bernardo, to you be sitting, I don't mind to you be on your guard. I must have option to pass your guard when you're sitting. I must option to have uh, option to pass your guard when you're on your back. The good thing for me is like if you're on your back, I don't think you chase me. Okay. When you're on your back, you kind of wait to me get in your game and then you're going to tangle my leg and then you probably going to have attack from that. So that's good for me. I feel like uh, if I don't get close to you, you're not going to chase me. When you see the guard, I feel like you, you're about to chase me. When you see the guard, I feel like you're on my face. You're like you're about to get a hold of me. So now I don't want to just go down and get my leg and give it my leg too because I can get really close uh, to you. So if you sit up, I will maybe I'm gonna choose to be on my knees, and then I'm not gonna offer my legs, and that's how I feel like uh, I can protect my ankles to to don't get like ankle lock. So from here, I'm gonna be looking to be on your face, and I'm gonna be looking to try OP or your arm P, and looking to like really get a good on the hook. And when I say get a good on the hook, I don't have to go one side or the other. I can always go on both sides, and I don't wanna fall inside of your body. One place that I don't want to be behind is inside of the close guard. Because when I'm inside of close guard, I'm not passing your guard. When I'm inside of your close guard, I'm opening your guard. I need to open your guard. So I'm one step behind what I was playing to. Good. But if you're sitting up, I'm looking for the under hook. I'm looking for to choose a side. I'm looking for to get my hands together. And the reason why I want to get my hands together behind is because in no gi we don't have that much grip. Every grip we made over here, we, we're about to lose. So every time I connect my hands, it's one of the only few grips that I can really make. So I want to get a hold of your of your head, you're on the hook, hands together, and I can walk to free my foot over there. So basic, if you're sitting up, I'm looking for down the hook, if you're sitting up. And I'm looking for down the hook, and I'm looking for a side to connect my hands. And I can still connect my hands even, even from here. I connect my hands, like I mentioned before. I can control your legs and start fast, like I did before, just because I connect my hands, right? 
Yeah. So that is, that is just like a, a beginner option. So like on the hook, connect my hands, on the hook, go to the side, connect my hands. But imagine like a, you don't wanna chase me, you don't wanna expose yourself, you don't wanna get your head open to your guillotine, you decide to be far away from me, waiting to be kind of fall on your track. So if you decide behind to be there waiting for me, if you decide, you see, I can even maneuver you like in both sides, like, because you're not chasing, you're on your back, so I can control you, you can walk over here. But the idea is like, uh, you're not chasing me, but I shouldn't, I shouldn't be afraid to approach you. I shouldn't, if, I'm, if, if you're not chasing me and I feel like, a, oh, I'm scared, I, can't, I cannot do this, I cannot do that, I cannot do this, that would be hard for me to, to approach your God. So I'm not afraid to approach you. I know you're not gonna chase me, but I'm not afraid to come here and like get close to you. But I know the limit that I can go. I know how far I can risk. Yeah. So if I get over here and start to get really tender, I get really close, I can always take my leg out. Yeah. So if I get over here and then you go upside down, if you start tangling, you start getting a hold of it, I can always pull my leg out. Yeah. My leg out. Yeah. So I feel like I, I must know how far I can go when you're on your back. And the reason why I need to be careful is because I'm entering your game. I'm not staying in your game, but I cannot be afraid. I cannot be like scared of your game. So I'll get close. I'll feel it out like a, I'll try to feel it out like a, what can I do? What, what is the option? Did I have a submission? Do I have a grab pass? But anytime I feel like, a, okay, I'm getting too close to his game. I, I pull my leg out. I walk my way out. But the idea is like, I must have options behind me. So if you sit up, I have options to pass your guard. If you stay there, I have options to pass your guard too. And the only way that I can have options to pass your guard when you're on your back, then I, if I get close to you. And the most simple pass. I don't like only simple pass, but I need to emphasize that, that we need the simple pass. We need the simple pass to set up any fancy pass. Good. So for example, I can always like that, from here I can just push and you recover, and I push, you recover again, and I push, and I switch. So I need to have a, a simple pass to set it up. I need to have a simple pass, easy pass, because I want to set you up. And I want to set you up to like a, to make you lose, to make you miss the beat. Good. I'm gonna keep pacing, I'm gonna keep pacing, I'm gonna push the pace, I'm gonna increase the pace, and then I'm gonna keep like making like a wheeling, and then I'm gonna start like cranking that hard, and then make you like very like a confused, like what, what he's gonna do. You no know, gear, I feel we, we need that speed. You no know, gear, we need that create a momentum. And I cannot make a momentum like a, with a fancy car wheel. I cannot make a, a momentum with like a diving uh, a Kimura. I gotta make that momentum with like a very quick move, very quick pass. Yeah. So, and that's what I'm looking to do against someone that has a very good guard, very dangerous guard. I do, for, and I cannot be scared. I would never be able to pass a guard if I just like, you know, I'm scared of the guard. And so, but I need to pass a guard, but I'm not getting close to you. So I'm not afraid to get close to you but I don't want to do like a fence danger move all the time. So I'm going to be just kind of like, just pass, just move, just move. And one thing that I see that I feel people speaking out right now that I don't see many people doing before, when you try pass guard, then I, and I get a hit, you always move away from me, right? It's no gi, it's slippery. No. Someone that like, like to be in their back, they're flexible, they're, they're fast. You don't give them the hook. This grip over here, Bernard, helps a lot. Everybody looking for this. Yeah. Everybody looking to yeah. control the grip. What people doesn't doesn't see that like if you don't do this, you do that. And it's the same thing. So the same way how I can reach under, I can reach can over, reach over. And, that grip, I mean. and that grip and that grip we're gonna keep you here. And I like I mentioned before, I want you to miss the beat. You understand you need to move away, you understand you should move away, but now if you think I'm gonna go under, I'm gonna go over. And then when I go over, when you try to escape, I don't wanna just pass your body stay over. I don't wanna pass. It's gonna be really hard to me smash you in force position to just stay on one side. So on my idea is like, if you don't give this place, I can go around, go to the other side. No, but I'm never gonna be able to make that if I don't find a grip. Yeah. And the grip, like if the grip doesn't go under, go over. And I see in some mess right now that people is doing that, but I really enjoy that pass. It's been a long time that I'm doing this pass. So if you don't go under, go over. 
that grip always going to be available. The same way how you want to reach under, but then people can you be can better. Go. Just go over the top. And Oh, I'm saying so. Mm -hmm. Like I love that everything is simple and everything everything is something that everybody can do. There's no, you didn't show any fancy move that's gonna be really hard for them to do. But uh, if we had to summarize here, so if I'm sitting the butterfly, you want to stay on your knees and you want to get the other hook, either connecting your hands or connecting uh, on the head. Of the one, right? Maybe. Yeah. So if I'm on, on butterfly, I'm staying on this. If I'm on my back. That's the time you're gonna stand, mm -hmm. and you want to connect simple moves. Like uh, it has to be fast move because because you're flat, you you you're okay. quick too. Yes. Good. But I believe, and I have to believe, and not be scared that I can be faster than you because right. I'm on my feet. Yeah. So, so I feel sense. like I can go one way, go change the other way. Out the way. I, got um, I, Bernard, I I love no gi. I have done a lot of no gi. But obviously, I don't know everything. Yep. But I must have options for both sides. Yep. So if I cannot, if the move is not working on one side, I, I can't even have one other side. Right. I must have an option. I feel like a, a good option to pack someone's body is like don't only go to one side. You have to go on yep. the other side. And that will make you more like confused. I'm sure. If you just see one move coming, that will be easy to protect. But if you see one move, not necessarily the, the same move, go from one side, go to the other side, and then go back to the first side again, that will make someone like a very, like a, a, a confused and hard to hit the fan yep. that they got past. Yeah. No, and the, no, I'm saying, I always uh, blow my mind to the training you did to feel, because for example, right in the end right now, you went to the half guard, and half guard was always my favorite position, and we didn't even talk about half guard here. You had the best half guard pass that I, I ever seen pretty much. So, and the, so it shows like the guys how much details there are on it. So he pretty much just showed the principles of guard passing. And he didn't even went go further. And look how much like <laughs> there is there. Like I almost feel like we could like ten hours in just about like all the the. I, be, I believe that that's that a lot of options, and we must look on the product. What I, what I, I hope and I want to is inspire people to see what I did. What I have to, what I have understand all these years, and make them be able to understand their own game too, and try to connect yeah. things. So we must have options. We must develop like one move after the other. We cannot just be a stuck or attached to just one move that we like. Sometimes we yeah. like a move and we want to, want to do that. We need to understand the the move after the move that we like. Oh, that makes complete sense because you were really good at passing the guard and forcing them to do some the move to go to submission. So when you put the hand behind the head, for example, I think he's gonna go to the guillotine. So there's so much that you could do connecting simple moves that everybody can do. Can I show one? Yeah. So I finish it up, then I'm sit up. So when I'm sit up over here, imagine like a, uh, if I just try to dip my hand on the right underneath, you're not gonna give that to me. You can always start in. You can already begin with your elbows in. So how can I go inside? And you're sitting up. And I don't want to stand up, maybe I don't want to expose my life. So from this point of the hip, I need to have up, and that's how far we can go. So you protect your arm feet. But when you protect your arm feet, you're more like a willing to walk from side to side. So instead of me going side, I'm going to go to this side. I'm going to force you to this side. I'm not going to down the hook. I'm going to just do this. And when you do this, maybe you, maybe you open your hands. And when you open your hands, Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's incredible. So, so that's what I'm looking for. But maybe you go, maybe I, I club to the side, you, 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 you don't like this. Yeah. Maybe I assume that I do this and you start going back and you start kind of, you kind of fall back and you don't, you oh, don't, yeah, you, you don't want to go back. Just, just lean back. You just don't, just move away from this grip on my neck. You, you do something like that. Maybe you like, you don't like to be holding, to be, to yeah. be peeing over that. So if something like that happens, I should that you in fact, I'll, I'll get a hold of the other. You go and I want to just be a little bit ahead of you. So I want to be ahead, he knows like, a, oh, he's going to do that. He's going to defend that. So if I do this, you open your arm, I'll go to the other one. Yeah. If I do this, then you move. I'll you get the other one. And then when I make girl. this grip, I don't want to just stay over here. When I make this grip, I start oh. going around. Oh, I got to the other side. Yeah. I got it. Um, I had but, a question with North-South. North-South was another thing that you built 
you got to do jujitsu come here like uh, no boy was doing attacks on ourselves and they started doing ourselves choking and that was one ADCC pretty much like then that was no gi no gi a lot of people that come from the gi we don't have the option we don't have the option with the gi we don't have the option to do him with it so we we still develop we still making stuff up we still making submissions from from no gi not necessarily the same ones that we use with the gi but we're still making submission so i feel that was just like a part of like a, we just developed we just make it happen not many people was making like not self submit but that is, that is a not self submission yeah. and a very strong one of yeah. course no that's incredible yeah so guys yeah Marcelo has a full instruction all about guard passing at bjjfanatics.com and as you guys can see like there's so much to be taught about his guard passing and how he connects the movements and that and the, I feel one thing I'm learning here from you again, so is how important are connections, you know, like, and the, we've seen for moves, it doesn't need to be fancy moves, but just timing, mm -hmm. yeah, timing, yeah, so guys, make sure to check that out at bjjfanatics.com, and thanks so much for sending me, thank you, yes. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel, just click subscribe, and to watch more videos, just click under see more videos, I hope you enjoyed bjjfanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.